vascular dementia is the second most common form of dementia uh, behind Alzheimer's. Uh, what causes it and what exactly is that? So vascular dementia is a result of reduced blood flow to the oh, brain okay. and that can be from disease in blood vessels uh, that would reduce flow or obstruct them. And how do you diagnose that? Is there a way of diagnosing that one? So that one does involve a little bit more of uh, cardiovascular risk factors. So there are blood tests and uh, imaging such as CAT scans or MRIs of the brain that neurologists will sometimes use to diagnose. And can regular screenings <clears throat> help protect you or maybe slow it down from happening? So that's Fair a question. Great, yeah, that's a great question. Uh, certainly when we talk about dementias, we do discuss that lifestyle is an important part of um, risk factors. And so I believe with screening, we can look for conditions that are treatable and reversible, blood sugar, cholesterol, blood pressure. And uh, as I've mentioned before about screening, the value is in early detection. And so if we can find symptoms early and there are treatment options for early disease, I think that makes regular screening and checkups important.